Hey there YouTube, this is Robert again for part 3 of my tutorial on how to use mold tools. First episode we talked about how to create a draft on your part so that would be more easily pulled out of a mold. Uh, today we talked about, or last time we talked about how to make the parting line, your shutoff surface, and your parting surface. Um, and last but not least, probably the most important part here is we're going to talk about how to make your tooling split and then if you need to uh, make some cores or just to separate your models so that you can see them um, we'll just kinda go by the seat of our pants here um, okay so we already have a parting surface and that's really that I mean all of that was to build up to make this parting surface we've got a bunch of surface bodies here that that are kind of the inside and outside surface of our part um, so we're gonna work on that right now the so again, we're moving from left to right along here. Last time we did parting surface, and so now we're going to do tooling split. And what we're doing is actually drawing the body of the mold, like the solid, basically the solid model or the external shape of it. So we're going to pick pick a face to sketch this on. I'm going to pick the top plane because it's on the bottom of my part. And today I want I'm going to do a square shaped mold. But you can do this around. You can make actually any shape that you want needs to be bigger than your part but smaller than your parting surface okay exit sketch now they want us to extrude it in both directions until it is bigger than our part so your part should be entirely contained inside the cube that you create here or cylinder or whatever shape it is but the the uh, the original model needs to fit inside of this key this uh, this box that you're generating here it's pretty simple just click the green check and we've made this big block and for all intents and purposes we're done um, if you want to be uh, I'm actually going to expand out my bodies folder and I don't know if you've seen this before this is the display pane and you can use this to quickly modify visual properties so the surface bodies I'm just going to hide because I don't want to look at them anymore I don't need them they're gone. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way that I can find to hide this parting line, uh, which is not my favorite, but that's okay. We'll live. Uh, solid bodies, we now have three. We have the thing named parting line, which is actually the um, Lego, and then we have our two tooling splits. And if I make my tooling splits transparent, you'll see we've got a Lego contained inside. And we put a hole in it, just so that way we can make an example of... Um, parting or shut off surfaces so let's do a bit of exploding here now in um, a great thing about SOLIDWORKS 2013 which I do not have here is you can actually explode um, your uh, uh, multi-body parts not just assemblies but I'm using 2012 right now so instead we're gonna use a different tool we're gonna click insert and then feature and then move copy. Now this is strictly a visual thing. It's not really going to do much for us in terms of um, in terms of um, like a, a usable explode. But if you want an image, something visual, this is very useful. So I'm going to just use the handles to drag it up. Click OK, and we're going to do another insert feature, move copy, body to move drag this guy down. Check. And now you can see, let's turn off these um, transparencies again. We have our Lego. We have bottom half of our mold and top half of our mold. It's pretty impressive. Now obviously this is a really simple shape, but um, as long as you can get your draft working uh, properly, this is this is a cakewalk. Uh, the hardest part is making sure that your part is modeled such a way that it actually could be molded. If you have some overhang or some some odd shapes and things you can do, um, you can use this core tool, and the core will make cuts through one of your you know, your bodies. Actually, let's not do this this way. Let's let's back this up. I'm gonna get rid of my move copies. Just delete them. Okay, so it's back making a box. Core allows you to divide up your mold bodies 
And basically, I, all you have to do is draw some lines. So I'm just going to draw some, some random lines. It's going to score them onto the body. And it's on our all, already made selections. Oh, okay, I guess I can't do that. i got to do a single closed contour for my 2D sketch. So we'll cancel, edit my sketch. Let's do a little circle. Let's say we needed to cut the center out for some reason. There we go. So we'll do that. We'll highlight our sketch. We'll do core. And then how far do we want it to go through? Right now it's only affecting that one body, so we want it to go all the way through. Click OK. And now you can see now we have a new solid body separate from the others. I'm just going to hide everything else. And now we have this new core body. And that is this plug here. So if you need to divide it out so that in case you have overhangs or anything like that, core will allow you to do that. And that is mold tools. If you didn't catch the other two videos, you really ought to watch those. They're very important. Uh, one thing that I did not cover was scale. If you really want to see that, uh, we'll talk about that. Um, parts shrink in molds. And so sometimes you want to scale it up by 1% or 10%, however much your material shrinks. So that way when you um, finish the mold, the final product is the right size. This has been Robert. Uh, give me suggestions on any videos you'd like me to make. Welcome all you new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Please let me know what you're interested in hearing or seeing, and I will do my very best to help you out with that. And you have a great day.